Booker, are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Growing. Growing? I hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, We're right. never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. He's not moving. He will, eventually. I suppose he does. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Is that something we can agree on? Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Anyone here? Hello?
Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day.
And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our Lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city? Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm just looking to pass through. Come on, Cleanse yourself, brother. Take his hand. Watch out, brother. Glory be. Glory be. Praise be to the founders. Praise be to the Lord. Glory be. Be. <laughs> hey. I baptize you. In the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Told you, not gonna do it. Priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning. She granted a sword of gold, so that I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Above all nations. To Father Franklin, our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware Paragon with flaming sword, rebel wings against of ignorance and tyranny, Watch share with me your wisdom by the sword and, and the scroll. No and the key. No luck, Amen. Only providence, and that you see its divine hand at work. Well, just because the city flies, don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, so got a girl to find. <laughs> I bet we could have something arranged. A full transcript of the Prophet's recent address to you, the Colombian people, on the holy forgiveness of our dear Lady Comstock, our beloved Mother of Forgiveness. Mike, 
does not matter to a Liberty Scout. Salt stalls all right, I tell you. Says he's for free. my dear fellow, they are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is... Rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. That's enough of that kind I just think it fails to capture Father Collins. I don't know if I'm raising a duke or a dimwit. This morning? Mm-hmm. Horrible what the Vox did. There's no sense in reasoning with those actions. Comstock will handle it.
Columbia, Raffle, and Fair. Huh. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll. Raising money for the girls' patriotic league. One man goes into the waters of baptism, a different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Vox Popular, now do I? Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence, stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77, stop. Good day to you, sir. Hello. I agree. If I told you a Keep man, saying that. Hoist a one Should we go in? Straight into the air. Would you believe me? Well, friends, those are no flights of fancy. Those Where's are no Matt? Tall I don't know what he's saying. No, sir. No, man. Those are figures I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. You gonna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough what TNT the back there to blow people up. And feet the fun from the tip of your fingers. Again. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally, as Mr. Jeremiah Fink, to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophets, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? 
If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If young I sir, you young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of bucking bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, try. bucking bronco is just the ticket. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? And there's devil number one. Devil number two. Woo, he's on a roll. If you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer! Right in the skyline solo was originally in my hand. The Vox Populi are on the loose! Who will hunt them down? Hey you! Handy with a rifle? Looking to do your part for Columbia? Show your skill by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi! Well, here's a brave fellow! Now, shoot the Vox when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize! I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy! Well done, sir! Another shot right on the money! Fitzroy slain, you, sir, shall be richly rewarded. Calling all skilled marksmen. The Vox Populi are on the loose. Who can protect us? Demonstrate your bravery right here. Shoot the targets and the...
Press to turn machines into allies. What the hell was that? was all sold out. Entrance is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. Guessing that don't mean me. Four flavors? That many? What's wrong with good old vanilla? Howdy, sailor. What port do you call home? An import in the storm? for this ice cream business. It's my only box. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that! A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander hot dogs. The advances in science. Oh my. No. Soon enough, thank I have this. We're sending folks to the fire. Mm -hmm. Honest. See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and dissent? Fear not! I got just secure. Grab a shotgun and go to work. You bet. You got what it takes to keep our city safe? Mighty fine prize if you can keep those guys. If I told you a man! Could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air! Would you believe me? Well...
one man goes into the waters of baptism, a different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint, until he is revealed unto the eyes of man. If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today. Those are no fights of fancy. Those are no tall tales. New York, Columbia, show your skill by hunting down the easy Fitzroy and the man. Accept our greatest apologies. The raffle is at capacity. Sorry, pal. The raffle is all all sold out. Entrance is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. Please accept our greatest apologies. The raffle is at capacity. his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man, a boy 
Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> Thank you. 